weekly main news. Former parliamentary candidate Bakhtar Hajiev arrested. Alternative Parliament prepares for protests. Youth activists appeal rejected. National Statehood Party head sentenced to another one month pretrial detention. Commemoration of murdered journalists. International appeal for Fatuliev. Yesterday, March 4th, the Ganja City Nizami District Court sentenced youth activist and former parliamentary candidate Bakhtiar Hajiev to one month pretrial detention. Bakhtiar Hajiev's brother, Vugar Hajiev, told Objective TV that he was subjected to physical harassment in the courtroom. Bakhtiar Hajiev is accused of evading military service. However, Hajiev believes he is being persecuted for his independent and active civil position. In recent days, using Facebook, Hajiev has called on youth to join protest actions on March 11th and 12th. He also called on police not to interfere. Hajiev actively exposed the election fraud facts during the November 2010 parliamentary elections. It was after this that authorities began to persecute him for allegedly evading the army. Bakhtiar Hajiev made three attempts to visit Georgia to continue his education. However, state border service employees held him each time and detained him for more than one day. On February 4th, the Ganja City Prosecutor's Office sentenced Bakhtiar Hajiev for two months of police supervision. The Azerbaijani opposition alternative parliament group held a session at the Musavat party headquarters. Azerbaijan Popular Front Party chairman Ali Karamli spoke about expanding the structure of the organization in the public chamber. He also spoke about social and political conditions in Azerbaijan. The head of the Musavat party, Isa Ganber, also discussed these conditions and emphasized his duties to the public chamber, the first and most important of which, he said, is to achieve changes in the country. The public chamber session discussed a proposal to begin protests in March. The Musavat head of staff, Arif Hajali, said that the first one could be held on March 12th. But the PFPA vice chairman, Fouad Gahraman Le, said more time was needed to prepare something impressive because a small-scale rally could discourage the people and jeopardize the strength of future protests. Gahraman Le believes that the public chamber should encourage the masses to start up a movement. The meeting concluded that laying the foundations for the work of the alternative parliament is the most pressing issue. At the end of the session, APFP chairman Ali Karam Le said that he thought it would be better to spend more time preparing to protest rather than jumping in immediately. Today, the Sumgait Appeals Court heard the appeal filed by jailed Azerbaijan Popular Front Party youth member Jabar Savalani. He had requested that his pre-trial detention be overturned and replaced with house, house arrest. Judge Azair Husseinov presided over the hearing. The hearing was closed to the press and public. According to Savalani's lawyer, the team first appealed for a different judge, but the court refused this. The lawyers said that Savalani's right to a fair judicial investigation, as enshrined in the European Convention of Human Rights, has been violated. Savalani was arrested on February 5th in front of his apartment building. He is being charged with possession of narcotics, which entails a sentence of up to three years. Police officers claim that they found 0.74 grams of marijuana when they searched him. His supporters believe that Savalani has been arrested because of his involvement with protests against a police clampdown during an opposition protest on January 20th at the Martyrs Lane Cemetery. Today, the Nasimi District Court held two separate hearings on the prosecutor's appeal to extend the pre-trial detention of Nimit Panali, the head of the National Statehood Party, and his friend Jehun Fazaliev. The hearings were chaired by judges Emin Medyev and Etibar Humbatov. The hearings were both closed to the media. The court first heard the case of Penali's friend, Fazaliev. After the closed hearing, Fazaliev's lawyer, Alchin Aliyev, told Objective TV that as a decision had been made on the one-month extension of the investigation period, but that he was not at liberty to give details. Later on, Nimet Penali's case was heard. Penali filed a motion to change his lawyer, and it was fulfilled. His brother, Samad pa Panahov, reported that Samir Isayev will now manage Penali's defense. Panali was sentenced to another month of pretrial detention. Panali and Fazaliev were arrested on a charge brought by citizen Eldar Aziev for hooliganism committed with a weapon. 
If, if they are found guilty, they could face up to five years in prison. Panani's supporters claim that the real reason for his arrest is his journalistic activity. Prior to his arrest, he wrote a number of articles criticizing the government, published in various press outlets, including the Nota PS. Yesterday, more than 200 people went to pay their respects at Elmar Husseinov's grave. Husseinov, former editor-in-chief of Monitor magazine, was shot dead in front of his apartment on March 2, 2005. Diplomatic representatives from, amongst others, the U.S. and German embassies, human rights defenders, journalists and leaders of the opposition were present at the memorial. Those in attendance condemned the government for its lack of commitment to the investigation. The government was involved in this murder and so of course it doesn't want to see the crime solved. However, we will continue to fight for the investigation of Elmar's murder, said Ali Karimli, the leader of the Azerbaijan Popular Front Party. Leila Yunus, director of the Peace and Democracy Institute, said that the clues to the journalist's murder are in the articles he wrote and published before he was killed. Anyone interested in the motives for Elmar's murder should read Monitor magazine's last article about the president's wife, Mehrban Alieva. The leader of the Musavat party, Isa Gambar, said that the murder of the journalists was an unsuccessful attempt to silence the press by the government. Amin Husseinov of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety proposed holding protests in addition to a candlelit vigil outside Elmar's former apartment. The Azerbaijani government has claimed that the murder was committed by Temur Azaliev and Tahir Kubanov, Azeri citizens who have since emigrated to Georgia. Apparently, the Georgian government has refu refused to extradite them, citing a lack of evidence. Today, the Baku Appeals Court heard Enula Fatulai's appeal against the Gardak District Court decision of July 6. Judge Mirpa Shah Husseinov chaired the hearing. Enula Fatulai stated that he had temporarily discharged his lawyer, Isakhan Ashura. Fatulai's lawyer, Elchin Sadigov, submitted a motion for Enula's release and bail until the end of his appeals court hearing. The public prosecutor said that his motion should not be heard. I'm only in prison because of your decision to sentence me to pretrial detention. I am able to put up 11,000 manat in a real estate bail. I ask you to release me on bail until the end of the appeals court hearing, said Fatulayev. After deliberation, the judge announced that the court would reject the motion. Fatulayev's lawyer, Elchin Sadigov, submitted a new motion to replace the pretrial detention with house arrest. The judge declined the motion. Judge Mir Pasha Husseinov has banned all filming and photography during these trials, and this time he also told journalists that they could not take notes without his express permission. Fatu Live has been in prison since April 2007 when he was convicted for threatening terror and inciting hatred against the authorities in a newspaper article he published. He then received an additional sentence for tax evasion, giving him a total sentence of eight and a half years. In December of last year, he was found guilty of drug possession after a quantity of heroin was found in his clothing while he was in prison. Fatu Live and his lawyer believe that the incident was a setup organized so that the court could avoid complying with the anticipated decision of the European Court of Human Rights regarding the journalist's release.
In April, the ECHR ruled that Fatulayev should be released immediately and that the Azerbaijani government should pay 27,822 euro to him in compensation. The Azerbaijani government ruled last week to excuse him for the original charges, but he remains in prison under the drug conviction. Fatulayev is recognized as a prisoner of conscience by local and international organizations.